Dom and Georgia here. Today we're going to do a van tour, well, a bus tour of our bus that we've been living in for a month now, full time, and just the ins and outs and what we work with every day. Okay, so we're going to start at the back and work our way towards the front. Back here is our bedroom. We have these curtains up for a couple reasons. I actually hung them initially just to kind of separate the space so you didn't feel like you were constantly standing in your bedroom and just for a little bit of privacy. But they're actually really great to keep the flies out of the bedroom. So we often have like the doors and the windows up here, which don't have fly screens on them, open and the flies get crazy. But keeping these closed keeps all the flies out of the bedroom so we can go to sleep and it doesn't bother us and still keep windows and stuff open at the front. So yeah. Back here we have our full queen size bed, which we love. And it's actually really comfortable. So all around the bed we do have these curtains which I sewed myself just from a block out material from Spotlight. This little tie is just a lace edging um, but the great thing about these curtains is that down the centre where they connect we have velcro on them so that there's never any gaps with the light and they also velcro down the bottom here just to keep it out of your face when you sleep on this side. These back ones all around our head are actually on wires just so that they stay nice and close to the window They aren't like flying out and hitting you in the head. That would be really annoying <laughs> So up here we have our clothes storage on these shelves They're actually just made from pine board from Bunnings that I stained to match the bench tops and they're being held up by some aluminium L brackets and Just this upright in the middle for some extra support so we have five tubs from Target each and they actually hold all of our clothes so they surprisingly store a lot we are in no shortage of clothes in here so they're really good for that this back shelf we have these two little tubs from Kmart they're really cute for a start <laughs> but they actually hold quite a lot as well so in this tub here we have all of our tools that we might need at some point on the road and our first aid kit and in this littler one we just have an extra set of sheets um, just for when we're making the bed and whatnot. We also keep an extra blanket up in the top corner just for those cold nights and Dom's acupressure mat um, up in the other corner. So down the side here we have this shelving unit that my dad actually built for us and it's great. It just saves us a lot of like lost storage space. Um, so on the top here we have just a shelf all the way along which has a lip so that stops things from sliding off when we're driving around which is really handy when you live in a moving vehicle. Um, then underneath we have these two storage tubs so we just lift up the top and we keep all of our personal belongings in here. I have just toiletries and pyjamas in mine. Dom keeps his sports stuff like a basketball and his massage gun in his so that's really great because it's just extra storage for us you know those things that don't really have a home they go in there then on the end here this is just a shelf we couldn't have a tub underneath this one because that's where the wheel arch is but this is just kind of all of our electrical equipment so my kindle our nintendo switches our headphones all of our chargers everything just sort of goes here because that's where we have our two gpos and our usb outlet so we kind of charge most things down the bottom here we do have another usb outlet up the back here on like this in this last tub we use that to charge our phones at night time just so we can have them on charge and still be lying down in bed okay then at the end here we have my favorite part of the bedroom and it's my little dressing gown holder so i have one of my little chair hooks here and i have just the perfect amount of space in this little gap to have my dressing gown hanging which is great i'm so glad i was able to bring that because i wear it so much in the van i love it and last but not least we have this little corner of the bedroom so this is where we have our little lg monitor which we just have an apple tv hooked up to and we plug in our ue boom speaker when we want to watch tv the great thing about it is that we can swing it right out and watch tv in bed or turn it around and watch tv from the dining room which is super handy we also have our remote control velcroed to the wall so that we never lose it which is super handy and another little usb outlet 
down the bottom corner there just to charge like if we need to have the speaker plugged in or just an, something else plugged in that we don't have room for anywhere else that's where it goes in the kitchen here I'll work from the top and sort of work my way down so first off we got these overhead cupboards they don't store that much but they're super handy because you kind of just chuck the things um, that you would normally leave on the bench like toiletries and whatnot before you drive away just chuck them up in here we got these little push locks that um, just hold it shut so they don't come flying when we drive away. In this cupboard here, we keep our towels, uh, like bath towels and beach towels. We got our, all our camera gear, our um, little microwave oven thing that does everything. It's super handy, super awesome. Uh, and just drawers that we have, normal kitchen stuff like tea towels, utensils and whatnot at the bottom there. And under the bed here, we've got these hatches that you can just open up and gives you access to under the bed storage. We normally keep like the rest of our shoes are under there. My surfboard um, is under there. We got a uh, skateboard, roller skates. It's just sort of the stuff that, you know, you'd normally keep in like a garage that you don't really want, you know, in your living area, but super handy. And it's actually quite a lot of space under there, more than we sort of anticipated. We haven't had a problem with space yet. So at the sink here, just a normal sink. We've got actually quite a deep um, sink, which is super handy. It's not the widest because we obviously couldn't have a wider bench top, but it's great because we wouldn't have it any other way. You can have two people, one person washing up, one person using the other bench or whatever, and there's still plenty of room in the hallway, which I don't think is something that you can normally achieve in almost any other van, but can't complain. Um, it doesn't have hot water, but We've been fine with that. If we ever need to clean something with hot water and like really get it nice and clean, we can boil the jug, um, which works. We also have like food safe wipes that we've been using and they're super handy um, just to get off the sort of little pieces of food and stuff in the bin. Um, we've got our hooks here, tea towels, that's about it. <laughs> so here we've got our little um, hanging section. We've got our little fruit bra, as we like to call it, but it's just a hammock for our fruit. Georgia doesn't like it, but I love it. It's great. Um, and at first, we were a little bit iffy about our hooks with the swinging when the bus is driving, but we came up with a good idea to put tape around the hooks, and now they don't swing that much at all, um, so we can sort of keep them, and they're nice and aesthetic. Um, and we hang our hats off, keep our sunnies in here, and here, picture of Georgia's lovely family. Um, this is our GPO that we mostly use for that microwave air fryer thing I was talking about. So down in the cupboards here we've got um, these magnetic latches which have a 10 kilo pull strength which is super awesome for keeping all the stuff in when we're driving around you know on windy roads and whatnot. We've got these IKEA handles which look great. Um, in this cupboard we keep bowls, plates, cups, protein shakers, um, big salad bowl, chopping boards, toilet paper, just stuff like that. Um, and same in this cupboard, we keep our cookers, the butane gas ones, we've got two of them, um, and all our pots and pans and stuff. And Georgia actually made this whole cupboard herself. I'm very proud of her because it turned out very good. Um, yeah, it's great. And in this cupboard, we use it as our pantry, and we keep all our food in here. We've got these cool little containers that we bought from Kmart. We've got bunch of them and it just keeps everything nice and organized and aesthetic um, yeah plenty of room we didn't know if it would be enough room but it actually turned out to be literally just fine it, it's plenty of room and under here under the sink we keep all our cleaning stuff stuff for clothes stuff for dishes a little vacuum dustpan and broom bins that sort of stuff and uh, fly spray which actually comes in handy a lot <laughs> And just here, in this little nook here, we keep our little washing basket, and it is the perfect size. It was such a good find. It fits perfectly just behind the um, seat here in the cupboard. Doesn't move around or anything, and that's just super handy for moving our clothes around. About. For moving our clothes. Good job. Okay, so up the front here, we have our dining room. We love this space so much. It's really handy. It just you know, we can sit here and read, we watch TV here sometimes, we eat here over night time. It's really nice when it's not that nice of weather outside to still have somewhere to kind of sit down and play cards and hang out. 
The great thing about this space is that this back seat here is actually two registered passenger seats. So they have seat belts and we can have two passengers in the bus with us, which is super handy. We have needed them a couple of times. So that's great. We love that. We keep all of our board games and cards and my scrapbooking equipment all up here, right? Easy access to the dining room. And then at the back here, we have our salt and pepper shakers, which are actually just Velcroed onto the table and it works great. They've never come off, so that does the job. And at the back here, we have a bench seat, which underneath actually has our whole electrical setup in it. So I'll come back to that and I'll explain it all. Okay, so here we have our Gecko 106 litre fridge freezer. The great thing about this is that it's made for a caravan because it has lockable doors. So they never come flying open when we remember to lock them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we love this fridge freezer combo. It's really handy. It actually stores so much food in here. So we have a whole week's worth of food in this fridge and still plenty of space. It also works on up to a 30 degree angle. So we could be parked on a hill and like our food is staying cold. Okay, so right as you walk in here on the wall, we have our little whiteboard that we use for a shopping list and our light switches down here. They are dual light switches which is actually really great because we can have the lights off in the bedroom but on in the front and it makes a massive difference you can totally like have a nap in the back and not be bothered by the light in the front okay then down the bottom here we have this little cupboard which is a mess but we keep our electrical cord our two hoses to fill up our water tank and empty our grey water tank we also keep an extra doormat which when we're parked up for the night we'll put it outside the door just to help kind of keep some dirt out we wipe our feet outside and then you know come in so we love that little cupboard it's just right next to the door really easy to take in and out the cords and stuff when we need them super handy we love it okay so these are actually a new addition to the bus we put these in probably two weeks after being on the road we used to keep all of our shoes underneath the bed but we soon found that with us constantly coming in and out, we just kind of stockpiled our thongs and slides and whatnot in the doorway, which was super frustrating. Another great thing is we have these little hooks right as we walk in here. So we usually keep our gym keys hanging on one and we have our little tap handle adapter thing on the other, which we use so much, it's really handy. So now we're onto the outside segment of the bus. Um, two things to apologize for. One, it's quite windy. We're near a beach and it's a somewhat windy day. Two, the bus is very dirty. I'm sorry. But starting here, we've got our little sticker collection that we've only just started. We plan to fill the whole thing with stickers. So here we have 20 liters of water. Um, just in case we run out and we're in somewhere remote where there's not much water, can just get you out of strife. We have a little gas tank here that we use when we set up our portable shower. Um, we just plug it straight into an instant hot water heater that we keep under the bed and we have nice warm showers. It's great. It's awesome. So in the back of the bus, under here, we keep a lot of stuff. We can fit a lot in here. We got surfboards, table, chair. We have the shower tent um, that is super easy to actually set up. Doesn't take long at all. Um, that hot water system thing for the instant hot water. An annex mat that we set out when we have our awning out. Um, skateboard, we have a jack, we have some tools for when we have to swap over the spare tire. Um, chocks, ramps to get the bus level. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So on the side here, we've got this fly screen, which is super handy because it keeps the flies out obviously at night and we can have like the window open right next to the bed. Super awesome. A little outdoor PowerPoint. Um, just in case we want to set out the table here, do some cooking with the oven. It's also a good way to keep the heat out of the bus, because sometimes when you're cooking the bus and doing quite a lot of cooking, it just makes the bus super hot, especially in summer, not great. Um, the awning here, we use it quite a lot, just nice to you know, sit outside the bus and enjoy the nature, it's good. Um, we've got this outdoor light, which we use at night, super bright, you can't really tell now, but it just blasts light out and you can see everything. It's great. That's about it. Okay, under this bench seat, you just take off the top and we have our full electrical system. And 
I would tell you how great it is, but it has caused us a lot of trouble the last few weeks. My dad accidentally ordered the wrong solar panels, so the actual electrical system is great. It's not causing us any issues, except for the fact that we just don't have enough solar power to keep our batteries charged. So they do keep running flat on us. However, we are getting another solar panel put on in about a week, which will hopefully, fingers crossed, solve the issue and we'll have enough power to keep our batteries charged, which is great. But apart from that, this system works great for us. It's very big, but you know, it works. It's what we needed and it's what we wanted. So we love having it. We have two 120 amp hour lithium batteries at the bottom here. This is our 5,000 watt inverter hooked up to our lithium batteries. It is huge, but it's great. We love it. Um, it's never overloaded the system or anything. I've had hair dryers and the oven plugged in in here and it's been perfect. So yeah, we've got our 20 amp DC to DC battery charger, which charges our batteries when the vehicle is running. And we have our other battery charger down the bottom here that charges our batteries when we're plugged into mains power. So our system is actually 24 volt. The reason for that is because the bus runs off 24 volt, which is quite different from 12 volt, which is what most fans run off. But it really hasn't caused us any issues. Like it's not really that different, I don't think. Not for us anyway, not using it. I haven't noticed any difference. All of our solar runs down this wall, all the wiring for the solar, and it's all hooked up into the system. We also have a little fuse box at the end here, which is really handy because we can access and replace a fuse if one of them blows. Um, yeah, so that's about it. We've got two GPOs here and then we've got another GPO at the back here which runs off of the mains power. So the USB outlets in the back that I was talking about earlier, they actually run directly off the batteries. So we don't have to have the inverter on to use them. We can constantly be charging phones or anything else that we have plugging into a USB. However, the GPOs that are all throughout the bus, we do have to have the inverter on to use, which isn't an issue. We just, every time we want to use the oven or a hairdryer or anything like that, we just come over, flick the inverter on, and then we can use it for as long as we want. We could probably run the inverter for about 12 hours straight before our system goes flat, like the batteries go flat. But realistically, we probably use it about 10 minutes a day to toast bread and we occasionally will have it on for an hour or two if we need to charge our cameras or, you know, cook a roast, cook some bread, the way that we do. So yeah, that's our electrical setup. Okay, so that was our 2000 model Toyota Coaster van bus tour. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we love our build. We think it's very handy, which we said like 20 times throughout that video. <laughs> very handy yeah sorry about that um no but in all seriousness hopefully it helps someone out there maybe get an idea for their own van build or for our family who wasn't able to have a look before we left home that one's for you guys <laughs> um we're gonna try and upload videos a lot more frequently hopefully every week but that's probably not realistic for us so we'll see but yeah follow along if you want to see more of our adventures and we'll be uploading videos every now and then so yeah, thank you. <laughs>